Hello Collective, welcome back. It's me, Timmy Infinity. I'm back here with another pick a card read. What's going to be their karma for intentionally trying to distract you from reaching your goals? My first collective will be the Stingray. My second collective is going to be the Sextant. And my third collective will be the Butterfly Fish. So choose whichever one of these creatures that you resonate with and i will meet you at your respective timestamp. hello collective if you chose the stingray this is your message the stingray spirit animal symbolizes maneuverability there will be many different paths in life that you will need to take and you need to make the journey worthwhile the stingray meaning speaks about sensitivity and the need to blend into your environment create peace and harmony. So you may be the type of person where you definitely want to keep the peace if there's any type of drama or if you see anything that's getting ready to happen as far as, you know, a riot. It could be, um, you know, some type of altercation, some type of skirmish. You are the type of person to move around. As we all know, the stingray, it is a very friendly creature. But if startled or if it feels threatened, it will definitely attack and it's going to it's going to shock you, you know, um, for the most part. It's going to it's going to hit you hard, hit you right in the heart. Um, so that electrical barb at the end of its tail is definitely something that you do not want to mess with when it comes to the uh, stingray. So you're a very elusive person. You may not like to be around people that are very um you know that are just full of drama there always has to be some type of drama to talk about with this particular person or with your person that wants to distract you and i'm getting the feeling that they try to distract you with um you know telling you the drama in other people's lives but definitely be careful i'm hearing this because this person will not only tell the drama that's going on in other people's lives they will go and tell these same people your drama that you have going on in your life and maybe you have experienced that and you've had enough with this person up till this point you may have said or done something that was very shocking to this person they were not expecting it but it was a defense mechanism whether that was you know out of your character or whether it was something that was in your character and this person was just not expecting most high most high are you here yes or no are you here are you here most high i call upon you most high are you here yes or no are you here Okay, so I did get a yes, but I also got a no, but I got a feeling it's angels because it says ask for help from others within the next few weeks. We've got a no opportunity. And we also have a yes with an exclamation. Get more information. Don't stop. So I want to know... Mm-hmm. Angels, angels of the highest white feel light. Are you here? Yes or no? Is that you? Oh, there's too many cards. Is that you that is here? Are you here? Are you here? It's a lot of cards. So I'm not gonna read all these cards, but I'm gonna be honest, I did get a no. So I want to know if these are any of your ancestors that could be possibly placing this karma on your enemies. Okay. Is this my my collective's ancestors that are here? That's a lot of cards, you guys. Is this my collective's ancestors? We got a yes. So some of you guys' ancestors are here. Recovery, success reconsider and trust so your ancestors may have been around to um pretty much protect you from this person you may have been getting uh these intuitive nudges in regards to 
you know, how this person was behaving around you. They may have always tried to downplay any of your accomplishments. They always had something negative to say. Just their vocabulary, the way that they speak on a daily basis, they always spew out negativity, negative words. They're always in negative situations. They're always in the middle of some type of drama, whether that be their own drama or whether that's drama that, um, that, you know, of other individuals, they just want, it's just entertaining to them. That's just exactly who this person is. And you do not play in situations like this. You don't want to bring drama to yourself. You're building yourself up to, um, you you want unlimited abundance in your life. You want to be able to move forward and past negative situations that you brought upon yourself or that other people brought to you in the past. And you by doing this, you want to to um get rid of those individuals, leave those individuals behind, those people, places, and things. Um, you don't want to participate in those situations anymore, or you've never been this type of person. So people don't really know how you're going to react in these situations because they they either have never seen you um, have to defend yourself. You, know, you never want to back an animal into a corner, a dog, because it's definitely going to attack, you know. And you may have been put in a situation where it was fight or flight. And you say, you know what, F it, I'm, uh -uh. I'm, I'm fighting. I'm not running away from this. This is the type of situation I can't even run from. If this was a situation where it led to violence or whether you had to uh, physically fight for yourself, you know, I do apologize. I don't encourage that type of thing. Um, you know, of course, remember that this is for entertainment purposes only, but at the end of the day, you had to defend yourself, whether that had been physically, mentally, emotionally, and maybe for a couple of people spiritually. I want to know who this person is most high, how this person affected my collective three cards for the karma for this person, and I want to know what is going to be my collective's justice in this particular situation. Okay. I actually got this card in reverse, but I'm really feeling like people are going to stop helping this person. So this person could have been a family member. They could have been an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Here, I do have the Six of Wands in reverse. So that means that at some point in time, you may have embarked upon a new beginning. Maybe you just started a new job, or um, maybe you decided to you know, uh, go into a creative endeavor or uh, put some time and energy into a creative endeavor and your family member was constantly telling you, you know, I don't understand why you're doing this. This is a waste of time. You're not going to be successful at this. And with this attitude that they had, I feel like they kind of slowed you down. You know, there was a lack of achievement, recognition or any type of support. This person did not want to support you. And maybe you were triumphant in a certain situation. Um, this person just did not want to give you your flowers. Um, they may have also tried to put you at a disadvantage or disgrace you and tell you, you know, like I said, um, you're not capable of doing this. I don't, this is foolish what you're doing. I don't know why you keep trying to pursue this particular situation when, you know, you should just move on. And you were like, no. I am not a quitter. I'm not one to stop things that I start. And I see this as being a, a, a victory for me. This person was very, um, you know, disloyal in this situation. Maybe you asked this person to help you out with certain things and they would break their promises. Um, this person just could have been a female, maybe a sibling, a um, you know, your sister, it could have also been a cousin. And if this was a male, you know, of course, brother, uh, could have been an uncle, could have been a cousin, just, you know, take what resonates, apply where need be. But, um, you know, this person is very egotistical and arrogant. Um, 
they're definitely at the having a the it's a pride before the fall. This person they ran a smear campaign on you. It's definitely going to be unsuccessful or was unsuccessful. Like I said, if you were triumphant in this situation, this person that's karma within itself. This just you know you being able to not throw it in their face because you're not the type of person to throw things in other people's faces, but it made this person look really stupid or it is going to make this person look like a straight up hater. Um, if people haven't already noticed this about this person, as I stated, this person could have been very arrogant and reckless, um, you know, and very confident in the things that they were saying and doing to and about you. Um, this person may have been in a very good position in life when you were having um you know maybe some financial constraints maybe your reputation um was uh you know it was on the line at this point or maybe your reputation had um you know it, it had been knocked down a, a notch not by any fault of your own and if it was you were taking responsibility this person uh, was a show off in your face they would get new things or go places and I'm hearing that when you were in a good situation, you would never show off or try to deliberately make this person feel less than. Um, you would always try to uplift this person. And that's you're actually one of the reasons as to why this person is in a good situation, because you were there to encourage them when they were having their financial constraints and when they were having issues that were going on in their life that were beyond their control. Um, this person was very passive of your goals, um, you know, and they were very fearful of you becoming, tri being triumphant and becoming successful in this situation. Um, this person may have had some type of chip on their shoulder, you know, even though you were, or you were, or, or you are in a situation that is dire, um, it may not have even been dire. The situation actually put you in a place where um, maybe you get to file a lawsuit on a particular company that did you wrong and they know that you're going to be triumphant or you were triumphant and they know that you're going to become extremely successful or maybe you were wrong in a certain type of situation where you're able to get some type of um, restitution or, you know, um, maybe you were put in a situation that is supposed to be made right um in a justice type of situation you know maybe you get to file an eo complaint or something like that but um this person was very jealous of that they had a chip on their shoulder and they begin to become volatile and as i stated aggressive um you know and also competitive too and you kept wondering you know what is it why is this person always trying to bring up their achievements every time I have, um, you know, make progress or get some forward movement in regards to this situation and get in my justice. Why is this person always trying to be domineering? And, you know, uh, I'm feeling like this person even tried to hold you back by maybe they went on a date the night before and they, you know, it was a one night stand and they decided to not come home the next day or they decided to do something different with their time. They tried to, uh, you told them that you needed them to take you maybe to court or you needed to take them to go and pick up a certain document within a certain amount of time or you had to go and file something. And this person deliberately, yes, I'm hearing on purpose, um, held you back from being able to take care of that business in a timely manner. Or this person would just always try to distract you by maybe, um, Maybe turning on your favorite television show or maybe they were cooking something. They just definitely tried to do something. I'm here for somebody. They would, uh, you know, bring girls around if this is a roommate or if this is your brother or something like that. They would always try to distract you with, uh, oh, excuse me, excuse me. That's confirmation. Yep. They're trying to distract me. Anyway, they would always try to distract you with uh, fruitless things to do or fruitless efforts you know hey go run to the store and get me this i'll pay you 10 bucks for this you know just to deliberately try to uh knock you off of your high horse knock you off of your rocker um okay let's get into their karma 
So the two of swords, you are no two of swords reverse. You are no longer in this mental confusion, in this mental fog about this person's behavior, how they're treating you, how they've been distracting you, pretty much how they've been holding you back from becoming triumphant and successful. If you haven't already been successful and by you coming out of this energy, this is going to cause them indecision and delays there and postponements. Um, like I said, if you've already taken care of this and everybody is starting to see the truth about this person and it's very overwhelming that their lies are being exposed, um, you know, it's causing them a lot of anxiety and stress. Um, also, they're they're overly cautious because everything that they said about you, all these smear campaigns that they ran, you're not the only person that they do this to. They do this to other individuals. So it's it's making them, um, you know, overly cautious and, and very paranoid because people are, um, you know, firing back. People are starting to see the truth about this person. It's putting them into emotional turmoil and, um, you know, and, and people are holding resentment towards this person since they wanted to hold all that resentment towards you with that chip on their shoulder. You know, um, people are, are, are being very cold towards them and detached and very guarded towards this person because where they were able to mentally and emotionally manipulate others in the past, they're no longer able to do that with their words people are starting to see them for who they truly are um where they were able to be triumphant and hold on to finances um pretty much save they're not going to be able to do that anymore maybe they're going to get a demotion or some how some way their money is going to start looking funny maybe they're going to make a large purchase and it's going to cause them some financial constraints um you know, uh, it's going to put them back in that same energy. Um, people are going to be pretty much letting them go. They're going to have to, to let go of jobs, you know, um, possessions. Um, they're going to have to ask others to, to help them out. And like I said, if they make a large purchase, um, you know, maybe they, they help other individuals out, but they don't really help you out. And these other individuals aren't going to help them. You know, they've been generous to a fault and to the wrong people. Um, they're going to be insecure about their finances because they're going to be, um, you know, they're not going to be stable. They're going to, they're going to experience a financial loss and, uh, whatever it is that they made a large purchase on there, they may end up losing that, whether that be a home, a new vehicle, um, maybe they may embark on a financial endeavor themselves and they end up losing money. Maybe they go to the casino or maybe they book a vacation and by the time, you know, they've already purchased the tickets for the flight and, you know, where they're going to be staying at. But by the time it comes around, they're not going to have any, you know, spending money. So they're going to lose out on that money. Um, you know, just reckless behavior is going to, and, and just a lack of control, it's, it's going to lead them to unsavory situations where they feel like they're going to have to gamble their finances, maybe even gamble with their life. Um, you know, there's also a little bit of theft here. People may steal from them or they may have to result in becoming some type of thief to um, stabilize their finances. But nonetheless, this person is going to experience some financial constraints where you know um where they were able to hold on to money it's just going to be it's going to be going right out the door the last card that i have here for their karma is going to be the moon reversed so um when we think of the moon reversed um secrets are going to be revealed about this person you know the truth is really going to come out and also, they're going to have a blocked intuition. They're going to be deceiving themselves in this situation. As they try to deceive other people, people are going to see them for exactly who they are. And um, as I stated, the truth is going to come out. People are not going to take this individual seriously. The jig is up, you guys. Um, this person could be a Scorpio or we've also got pentacles here, so... Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, maybe a little bit of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm definitely getting big Aries, Leo, Sag energy, but your justice is, you. this person's going to come and ask you for help, 
and you are not going to help this individual out. You're going to be like, nah, you remember that time when I needed for you to da 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 or you're not even going to be within this the reach of this individual. For some of you, you may have already cut this person off. And by cutting this person off, that means that this person is not going to be, they're not going to have access to the abundance that you're bringing into your life or that you have already brought into your life and being triumphant in this situation. And then also, um, you know, there are, there are going to be um, other people that may try to help this individual out, but it's always going to be some type of strings attached. You're going to see this person not... Um, you're going to get to see this person's karma, I'm hearing. You're going to get to see them being unemployed and that investment not working out or them being underpaid and undervalued. And, um, you know, pretty much I'm, I'm hearing, you know, uh, debt, crippling debt um, due to their poor financial decisions and from being greedy and mean, you know. They're going to have to they're going to have to kiss ass after this situation in order to receive any type of help from anyone and also as soon as they receive the help the the money or whatever help they receive it's, it's going to be very short-lived um it's gonna as fast as it was it comes in is as fast as the money is going to um you know it's going to slip right through their fingers so let's get into the index karma cards I want to know most time. We want to know. My collective wants to know what will be that person's karma for intentionally trying to distract them from achieving their goals. Okay, that's all I'm going to pull that because that's already a lot, you guys. That is a lot. This person really did a number on you and on other individuals. And if they did any type of magic, it's definitely, I'm feeling like it's going to backfire. It's going to go directly back to this person. I'm hearing tenfold for some, a hundredfold for others. Because a lot of people that they've affected, affected were innocent individuals that wanted nothing but the best for them. So it's going to definitely come as a shock. They're going to miss out on opportunities. That's first things first at the bottom of the deck. They're going to need rehab. Uh, yeah, they're always going to be a side piece and get cheated on. So if this was a lover, um, that could definitely be a family member. You know, baby dad, it could have been a, um, you know, a, a husband. Um, they're going to become addicted to something, so that's confirming rehab. They're not going to have any spiritual protection or guidance because their spirit team members are very ashamed and very disappointed in them. Um, that I'm getting that they're going to get picked up by the police in this particular situation. Surrounded and drained by energy vampires. Mm -hmm. Stagnated and powerless. Yep, since they tried to stagnate you. Yep. Mm -hmm. Unable to recognize they're being taken advantage of. Unfair obligations. Yep. Unable to recognize that they're socially awkward. They're going to become homeless. Yep. They're going to lose their home, car accident, car loss, mental anguish. They're going to be exposed as a coward. Inner conflict. Their divine counterpart is going to reject them due to their toxic behavior. Yeah. No loyalty from others. They're going to be giving and getting the evil eye. As soon as they give it out, they're going to get that energy back. I'm here. Stranded and abandoned. So nobody's going to want to deal with this person. I said it. Crippling debt. Yep. Outcasted by friends and family. Legal trouble. They're going to lose a case. Or somebody's going to file a lawsuit against them since they wanted to downplay and down talk your, um, you know, what you had going on. You know, I'm hearing that this person filed a false claim with their insurance company and they're going to come back. And, um, you know, they're going to file a case against this person. Fake, lack of, or no support from their social circle. Unwanted attention, being caught in a scandal. Yep, the only reason why their social circle is going to want to interact with them is to get the uh, the scoop on the scandal that they have going on in life, you know, so that they can laugh at them and, and you know, talk bad about them behind their back and be like, see, this person, they deserve to get karma because they always da -da -da, they always want to talk about somebody. They don't want to try to distract somebody and stop somebody. Da -da -da. And they may, it's, I feel like this person makes it their life to hold other individuals back. 
demotion or job loss mm -hmm. used up by karmic partners and then dumped unable to accomplish their goals bodily injury Ooh, set up and robbed i'm feeling like it's probably my company is set up i don't wish that on nobody but goodness they're gonna create a chaotic lifestyle for themselves an incubus succubus attachment yeah mm -hmm. they're gonna suffer from anxiety and depression and be haunted by lower vibrational entities and spirits who go through spiritual warfare they're gonna be miserable blocked creativity nothing's gonna go right until this person apologizes yep self-sabotage loss of spiritual gifts they're going to have to witness others thrive while they struggle. And they're going to be bitter from heartbreak. They're going to attract and become a bugaboo. Because mm -hmm, this bitterness is going to lead them to desperation. Yep. Delusional and out of touch with reality. Yep. Blocked chakras. Misfortune and bad luck. They're going to lose their zest for life. Mentally and emotionally manipulated and abused. Since they like to go around doing that to other individuals. And people are going to specifically target this person and assault them. I think that goes along with set up and rob. I don't wish that on nobody. Untrustworthy. And they have to watch you become successful if they haven't already. Yep, and all those rumors, gossip, and slander that they did to you, it's going to backfire. It's going gonna, it's gonna to go back to them. Nightmares. Yeah, it's going to be a nightmare. They're going to be defeated in physical and verbal confrontation. They're going to be humiliated public and publicly embarrassed. Yeah, that, that goes right along with the um, defeated in verbal and physical confrontations. Yeah. Gang stalk and smear campaign. That same thing they did to you. Yep. They're going to suffer from narcissistic abuse. And it's going to cause them to have low self-esteem, low self-worth, uh, to be insecure and low vibrational, They're, which is going to cause, it's going to block their manifestations, that lower vibrational energy. They're always going to be made to feel lonely micromanaged and bossed around constructive criticism financial ruin mm. yep so you guys if that resonated like share subscribe comment if you decide you want to leave a donation that is also fine as well if you don't many blessings to all but if it did not resonate please leave your comments to yourself your opinion is not our business so please don't ruin it for others i hope that you all have a wonderful day a wonderful week and take care bye now hello collective if you chose the sextant then this is definitely your reading so the sextant was a symbol of orientation and the chief purpose of education was of course to orientate for it it is only by finding ourselves by discovering our capacities and aptitudes that we can be of service to the community so you may be an advocate of some sort you could be in uh you know you could work for the legal field you could be a paralegal you could be studying some type of legal legalities you may work in some type of contract law or you may work with contracts something of that nature either that or you just know exactly who you are this sextant is a very detailed it not only um has a compass there's a sundial so that you can tell time you can you know um you know look longitude latitude uh yeah longitude latitude um and as i stated there's also a compass as well so you are very detail oriented nobody can tell you anything about who you are i'm hearing if it is not contractual mathematical it is not factual so you are the type of person where you're like you need to come with the facts other than that you know you, you're not trying to hear it no one can tell you who you are what you're capable of um, no one can tell you you know the yes or no the up or down the right or wrong you are the type of person that will um, I'm hearing investigate or research meticulously um, you know and even if it takes you months to complete a certain project 
you are going to do it to the fullest extent at to the best of your ability with the time that you are allowed you are not just going to put your name or um you know back any type of claim without being able to prove it with some type of site reference um you know or even you know a link to a website that's .gov.org something that's very reputable even if you're not an official person or you don't have a specific title as far as you know your education or background you're still the type of person where you want to or you are going to state and present the facts okay so most high are you here i call upon you uh, let's see so uh we did get a yes that fell out here trust reconsider success and recovery so whatever situation that you are going through right now you need to trust the process if you feel the need or intuitive nudge to reconsider do that um also um you'll be successful in which whatever path you're taking and you're going to be t able to recover from whatever situation that happened to you with this person try to distract you from being able to complete your goals i'm gonna work with the bad beats hero deck today Ooh. so the messages are definitely anxious to get out today but as i stated you're the type of person people probably try to put you in a box they probably tell you who you are what you are how you are why you do it this that and the other but you know they try to explain the person that you used to be you have grown into someone that is a lot more mature emotionally mentally physically spiritually and these people all they can do is try to bring up your past the things that you have done in your past your character and how you weren't in the past maybe in the past you were a bit passive um hearing for some people but you're at this point in life where you're like no i know exactly who i am why i do the things that i do and you tell people how you feel and how they feel as well what they're doing why they're doing it and you tell them exactly you know you and you, and you are able to associate it with some type of trauma that they've had in their life this particular collective is extremely emotionally um emotionally intelligent i'm feeling i feel like this is my um the messages are for me as well because i'm extremely emotionally intelligent too and it's not a lot that people can get past me especially when it comes to contract oh i'm a math lead as well you guys and um you know also facts i'm not going to state something unless i know that there is some type of truth behind it i'm here and stop here most high who is this person how did they affect my collective I want three cards for the karma and give me my collective justice. Mm -hmm. Bottom of the deck energy, we have the Queen of Swords. So you could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or this person could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I always associate the Queen of Swords with law. So this could be a judge, this could be a lawyer, this could be a boss, this could be some type of mother figure, this could be someone with authority in your life that holds a lot of value that is tied into possibly finances, stability, maybe your home, you know, um, maybe this person has everything to do with uh, maybe this person helps you to co-parent it could be a wife it could be the mother of your child this could be a mother you know this could be someone who's very sharp with their words either that if this resonates this energy resonates with you then you are the individual that is a very sharp with your words you have come a very long way and gone through a lot and people cannot tell you anything about yourself they can only tell you about who you used to be but you've already been there done that discovered that 
gone through that trauma, healed it. And, you know, if you're still in the a process of healing it, you are, you know, you're, you're pretty much exceeding with flying colors at this point. And people cannot tell you exactly who you are. You refuse to let other individuals put you in a box. So they got you real messed up. And I feel you. I'm that same person. Nobody, people, so a few people, I may have already said this before, but there have been a, pe- a few people on a few different occasions who told me, I, I would hate to see someone debate with you because you are going to win every time. Not to say that I'm going to win every time, you know, but I, I'm going to come with facts, you know, no emotional, no emotional, um, you know, feel none of that. I, F my feelings, F your feelings. We, we're going to get down to the nitty gritty in this situation. I really want to clarify these cards you guys but first off the sun card this is the person whom it is so this could be a leo we got big sun energy uh i'm also feeling this could be the mother of someone's child or this could be a wife or you could be this could actually be your mother and you could be the son um, of this particular individual i'm really feeling like this is an um this is a someone who who holds authority in your life and it's a female as well um if it is a male this person operates in female energy you know gossip slander always trying to backbite always want try want to try to you know um throw you under the table just a real feminine energy you know competing this person will throw you under the bus this person but is a by any means necessary and i don't i'm not saying that to down play or down talk women on any capacity i say that because you know societal norms are set up to pit women against each other you know from the time when we're born you know for some reason we're not supposed to get along that is the subconscious belief that the collective has and and in reality if we work together we would get a lot further in life yes women we hold the power and and it has absolutely nothing to do with aesthetic okay or it it definitely it plays a part though um guys i'm not going to give out (laughs) the secrets but guys you know what i'm talking about um I have been operating in very masculine energy, but my feminine energy, my divine feminine, is very balanced as well. So I'm very aware of how um, to navigate certain situations when it comes to romance and things of that nature. And men will throw in the flag because they cannot defeat my emotional intelligence. I'm, I'm not going into a situation to where I don't care how much money you have, I don't care if I don't like you as an individual. That's your money. That is what you have accumulated in life. That is everything that you have done for yourself. Me, I know exactly what I'm capable of and I can move forward and progress, you know, without the help of someone. And also if someone tries to threaten their success or their accolades or whatever connections that they have with me becoming successful in in the future in that particular situation. I'm like, (laughs) I've gotten this far. I feel like I can get a little bit further along without your help. You know, and even if you do pass up that that opportunity, I feel so great deep down inside because I did not compromise my integrity. Okay, I did not give in to this individual and put myself in a situation where I was going to be miserable having to live at the beck and call of another individual. I refuse and a lot of women are willing to, uh, you know, uh, sacrifice and 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 give up their integrity just so that they could find love in another individual but love starts with yourself if you don't love yourself how can another individual love you i'm going to end it at that like i said i want to clarify these cards with my political cards and definitely bottom of the dick energy we've got the joker john stewart Inside this room, all of my dreams become realities, and some of my realities become dreams. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. So this person could probably try to always, um, you know, 
create these illusions or you just have a very powerful mindset you're able to manifest things and ground them into reality so yeah nobody can just tell you anything any types of fibs or stories or false narratives and you're not gonna fall for it mm -hmm. yet you're gonna play poker and you're gonna make a joker out of them so as I stated, the sun. Uh, my life is good, real good. Nacho Libre. So this person may always like to take the spotlight. This person may like to always try to take other people's shine and make it their own. If you have any type of accomplishment, this is the type of person that's like, oh, well, you know, the only reason why that person was able to do this is because I was able to da 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 da. They always have to have their hand in something or they want to be recognized. Uh, oh, yeah, well, the only reason why this person was able to do something is because behind the scenes, you know, because of course, Bill Clinton, the only reason why uh, Hillary would have made it as far as she did is, you know, I'm pretty sure Bill had his clout had a lot to do with it so this person could also be a cloud chaser as well um you may actually like to sit back and just observe situations but four of clubs is definitely four of one so as i said this could be a family member this could be a wife the mother of your child or you know take what resonates switch genders um you know but uh when when i think of the sun um in reverse, I want to take it in reverse because, you know, this is this person. I want to look at their make the aspects of them that are trying to hold you back. So this is a card about uh, being all talk or overconfident and not following through. Words are just hot air with no meaning if you don't deliver. Thinking after acting and running away from commitments are all tied to the sun in its shadow aspect. So this person may always like to tell a lot of lies. This person likes to spread gossip and rumors. This person always sits back inconspicuously watching other individuals, but they also use this gossip and this slander and whatever, you know, ammo that they fuel their, uh, you know, AK-47 of, of, of lies and, and, and malice <laughs> with. Uh, you know, um, it, it's it's because of other individuals. If you are in the spotlight, this could be some type of influencer that is always trying to, um, you know, look for negative things that celebrities or officials are doing and they always want to try to slander them. But this person is always behind the scenes um, and they try to hide everything that they have going on, all the wackiness that they've got going on and, you know, they try to cover themselves up and also they want to make it seem as if they're the hero as well. They want to take accountability for things whenever they uh, speak about it. Um, as far as, you know, I, oh, I was the first one to leak this news, or, you know, or whatever. Um, I feel like this could be a celebrity pal or something like that. Like I said, you could be in a uh, law or something like that. Anyway, yeah, um, this person's always looking for some type of gossip i mean they are just always um just a stone's throw away or um they just you know <laughs> i'm really feeling this person's energy they're they're really good at what they do too they're very tactical um very um uh calculated yeah very calculated with the things that they do Three of Swords, so we got more air energy. You could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person broke your heart. So, like I said, family members could be the mother of your child. This could be a um, a husband, a wife, or you could be the feminine energy tape what resonates. But this person broke your heart. Whether that be they did something financially irresponsible, they could have literally, you know, broken your heart in a romantic situation. Um, this person um, distracted you. I really feel like this person distracted you by um, breaking your heart and, and it really took a toll on your emotional and your mental health. And that is what distracted you and stagnated you in certain situations and being able to progress and move forward with your life. 
Um, we've got the Three of Diamonds, which is Three of Pentacles, Pat Robertson. I may be on the Devil's Hit List, but I'm on God's mailing list. Euless Sunny Dewey, the Apostle, 1997. So maybe you were born in 97, maybe this happened in 97. Maybe um, this person was born in 97, something about 1997, anyway, or maybe just the late 90s. Got the Three of Pentacles here, though. Um, this person, I feel like, broke your heart in regards to some type of stability. It may have been a financial gain that was supposed to be coming to you. And this person stagnated that. Maybe they were supposed to send in certain information or update certain things with the application on their end because it was um, a mutual agreement between the two of you. And this person delayed it. They stagnated. As you can see, this is snail mail. You know, this person is, this is handwritten. This person did not take the time out to, you know, go online and try to update it electronically. This person took their time or what they were doing, either that or they intercepted some type of financial gain or win, windfall that was coming into your life. This person could have, maybe they were supposed to help you in this situation and all this person wanted to do was hold you back. This could have been a boss. Maybe they just held back information that was very pertinent to your stability, to your well-being, to your future, um, you know, and you being able to maintain a certain type of lifestyle, um, good karma for this person. This person's going to get investigated, Seven of Pentacles. We got this lady here, looks as if she is going in and she is investigating every single, um, you know, Pentacle, all the money that was stolen, all the money that was um, unaccounted for, um, you know, whether this be child support, this could, like I said, for some people, this may have even been your own mother um, that is tied into this, but this, uh, it could, I'm hearing inheritance, trust fund, somebody broke your trust and now they're going to be investigated for this and it's going to come out. We got the two of pentacles. Um, you know, if I hadn't been very rich, I might have been a really great man, Citizen Kane. So maybe you are a political figure. Like I say, you could be, uh, you could work in law, you could be a paralegal, you could work some type of uh, job where you work with a lot of contracts or something like that. Or this could be a uh, contract agreement with uh, child support or something like that. But if this is a really big deal, um, they may end up this this may end up on the news everybody's going to know about this they're going to be investigated um all that money that they're hoarding or that they tried to hold back from you or try to stagnate and block you from being able to get people are it, it's going to come to the light um and this may be a story that may even break on the news that'll be interesting to see we got the six of spades here which is the six of swords just a bit outside uh we got joe biden here Major League, 1989. <laughs> Maybe you were born in 89 or this person was born in 89. Um, eight or nine may be significant to you. But um, yeah, uh, it says dunk a donkey. Yeah, this person's a complete ass for what they did. They're going to become a target because not only did they do this to you, they did this to other individuals as well. And people are going to start to come after them and... Um, and see what the hell happened now when i look at this he's sitting over water um so um this person may have to leave a workplace if they are found out or when they are found out rather this person may have to uh i'm feeling like this person somebody's gonna come and get this person they're probably gonna have to end up going to jail um this person is going to have to try to disappear off the face of the earth because they're a target for the things that they did that they did not only affect you they affected other individuals as well and these people as you can see all of these cups i'm feeling like these are all of the bleeding hearts of people that they have affected and they are coming in one by one to tell their testimony and let everyone know exactly what it is that this person did when they took off with their money or with their stability or when this person shamed or wronged them or this person may go to jail 
um, uh, or this person may have to flee and always, uh, I'm hearing they're going to have to flee and always be watching their back and be extremely cautious of the things that they're doing because they, they're, they're target at this point. We've got Trent Long, the six of cups. It says, I rent and I rave for the virtue. I'm too late to save the music man, 1962. So, um, this person could be, uh, a little bit, um, a little bit biased, that's the word I'm going to say, because as you can see, that is the Confederate flag there. This person may have uh, violated your rights in some type of way, and now you're going after them in a uh, legal or some type of litigation. And I'm feeling like you're going to be very triumphant. This person was blatant with it, too. And I feel like you have a lot of proof, a lot of contractual and mathematical facts that this person is not ready for or they are they were not ready for when you uh, let them know another part of their karma is you are going to be triumphant in this situation because this here is the six of cups so the six of cups talks about getting help from other individuals so maybe this was a baby mother or baby father husband or wife that uh, you know, they were, they could have been, uh, anti, uh, they could have some, had some type of prejudice in some type of form, whether that be religion, you know, color, race, gender, it, they could have felt, um, you know, uh, very biased towards certain groups of people and maybe you're not biased and um, or maybe this was an agreement between you and a landlord or maybe you and an employer someone that was in a higher level on a higher level of authority and they blatantly threw around their dislike and disdain towards you but you are going to get the bag. This person is going to have to help you out and shell out um, that Ten of Cups wish fulfillment for you and make you whole again in this situation. If this is a, a, the ex-husband or a husband or the father of your child, this person is going to have to do what they're supposed to do in order to make you whole again and in order to make this situation right and your justice in this situation is you have the strength or um you're gonna have this person you're, you're gonna tame this person in this situation this person is going to lose all respect from everyone else and you are going to come out triumphant in this situation we got the ace of cups here this is rudy giuliani it says i've been ready for this my whole life rudy 1993 rudy i'm gonna get you fat tony so yeah whomever this person is you're gonna be able to be triumphant in this situation it is going to be a wish fulfillment for you and you may even find love in this situation as well but this person is going to get exposed and you are going to win you're going to end up on top and um whatever it is that this person has been doing behind the scenes it's, it's going to get exposed and you're going to get to see it. You're going to get to be, you may even be a major part of this exposure. Like I said, it could be on the news or something like that. But whatever it is that this person did, they ruined and distracted you from being able to see the truth of the situation. And it took you a long time to figure it all out. But you did. You fi you figured it out all right. And you let the right people know, the right officials know, or you know whomever it is uh, that's supposed to be behind you in this situation and that's supposed to be supportive they know now and they see the situation for what it is and you're going to start to get a lot more support not only from family and you know friends that uh you know didn't believe you or or weren't trying to look at the situation for what it really was they're going to start to really see the truth now so let's get into this person's karma with the index cards. I want to know most high what will be my sextant collective person's karma for trying to distract them from reaching their goals. My sextant collective person's karma. Alright, I'm going to do it one more time. All right, let's go ahead. 
get into it, you guys, and see what your person's karma is going to be. They're trying to pull the wool over your eyes. They're going to be fatigued and lethargic. And it's it's gonna it's gonna distract them from being able to reach their goals. Yeah, they're gonna have to witness others thrive while they struggle. Mm -hmm. Since they try to distract others, and they're gonna be bitter from heartbreak too. Apply to your situation. They're gonna be a bugaboo and attract bugaboos, and they're gonna be delusional and out of touch re with reality, pe thinking that people want them, but they they really don't. Their chakras are going to be blocked. Misfortune and bad luck because this is what they wished upon you, collective. They're going to lose their zest for life. And they're going to be mentally, emotionally, and manipulated. And, uh, manipulated and uh, uh, mentally, emotionally, manipulated and abused. Yeah. <laughs> Targeted and assaulted. I swear I said that. Mm -hmm. Untrustworthy. Loss of spiritual gifts. They're not going to have any discernment for hidden enemies. Which is, uh, and these hidden enemies are going to make fun of them and bully and torment them. Someone is going to successfully swap destinies with them because they are not responsible enough to handle whatever it is that they were supposed to do. And you may even be the person that successfully swaps this destiny with them. Uh, physical altercation. People are going to want to beat this, this person up. People may even put baneful magic on them and black magic. Not even may even. This is what's going to happen. They're going to lose everything and gain nothing. And this is going to cause them to age. Also, bad eating habits. And yeah, these secrets that they've been trying to hold back from you and everyone else, they're going to be revealed and it's going to give them a bad reputation. They're not going to have any discernment or they're not going to know. They're not going to even know that this happened. STDs. And they're going to neglect their self-care and develop a lackluster aura and appearance. They're going to be made to feel lonely and they're going to be micromanaged, bossed around and have to face constructive criticism if this was a boss or some type of authority figure of yours. Financial ruin, bodily injury, they're going to get set up and robbed, yeah, create a chaotic lifestyle for themselves, incubus, succubus attachment. So not only is it going to be um, a sexually transmitted disease, it's also going to be a sexually transmitted uh, deep as well. They're going to suffer from anxiety and depression and be haunted by lower vibrational entities and spirits. Yeah. They're going to be miserable and have no creativity. Nothing's going to go right until they make an apology, until they apologize to people about what it is that they did. Yeah, they're going to be defeated in verbal and physical confrontations and you know, self-sabotage. No, They're going to miss opportunities and people are going to lose interest and turn on them. If they have to get any type of surgery, it's going to be botched or any type of plastic surgery. Spiritual jail and imprisonment. They're going to be betrayed by friends and family. And they're going to be a victim of identity theft or whoever they victimized. Yeah, they're going to have to go down for that attacked by an animal and you're going to be successful and triumphant as i stated they will witness you become successful and people are going to be starting rumors and gossip and slander their their name it's going to give them nightmares and because they're because they're being defeated in these verbal and physical confrontations yep humiliated and publicly embarrassed because of this gang stalk smear campaign mm -hmm. they're going to suffer from narcissistic abuse it's going to give them low self-esteem self-worth they're going to be insecure and uh yeah low vibrational energies all their manifestations are going to be blocked yep all right collective if that resonated please like share subscribe comment if it did not you can leave your comments to yourself. They, your opinion is not our business. So please don't ruin it for others. But other than that, you all, I hope that you have a great day, a great week. Take care. Bye now. Hello, Collective. If you chose the angelfish, this is definitely, well, actually, it looks more like a butterfly fish, but um, it could be an angelfish as well. If you guys know what um, type of fish this is, please leave it down in the comments. But um, other than that, experts believe that angelfish um, are far more intelligent than you think. 
Um, also, unlike many fish in the same family, they're not aggressive and their colors fill our eyes with dazzling beauty. Their name alone gives this fish association with angelic realms. A gentle reminder that we are never alone or without heavenly aid. Light workers tell us the angel fish, <coughs> excuse me, embodies unconditional love, forgiveness, our inner light, and moving forward after mistakes in our past. They are the promise of abundance and a happy life. So you could be an earth angel. You could be some type of, um, uh, uh, you know, a spiritual healer. You could be uh, some type of spiritual warrior. You could be a light worker. Either way it goes, you hold a lot of importance when it comes to helping shift and upgrade uplift and um you know the evolution of the collective as far as uh being able to to move them into that higher realm of uh dimensions because right now we are in a a shift in consciousness that's pretty much what 2012 was all about the shift in consciousness consciousness went from you know, being all about the family to um, being all about yourself, taking care of yourself. And that way you can be able to take care of other individuals. You know, they even tell you when you get on the plane, put your life mask on. Your, your, you have to put the mask on first and then you put the mask on the person next to you after that. Right. So you definitely want to give yourself life before you're able to help other individuals. And right now you may be on a spiritual journey, a spiritual awakening. You could have this beautiful energy, you embody this just balanced, neutral, protective, uh, healing energy. Or you could be a beautiful person you could have healing hands i'm hearing for someone out there you could have growing hands you may uh, you may be a hairstylist and you're able to grow people's hair as well i'm hearing um but for the most part you have some type of spiritual gift or you are gifted in some type of way for somebody you may be a tarot reader I'm feeling there are a lot of tarot readers out there, quite a few of you. Um, also feeling, um, you know, you're just here to help uplift the consciousness of the collective, which is awesome. Keep on your journey. If you are still in the process of healing or maybe you just come out of that dark night of the soul energy and you're starting to embody a more peaceful, graceful energy Um it is uh it's definitely uh blooming and it's it's definitely um it's 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 beginning to it's gonna be a very beautiful energy i can't even explain what i'm feeling right now i know that the energy of bliss is very it's one of the most highest vibrational energies that you can really feel and embody and you're going to get a chance to experience that collective so congratulations kudos to you most high most high yes or no i want to know you here okay so yeah communicate clearly maybe you've been asking your angels and your spirit guys your spirit team members of the highest white light to assist you in certain things and they're asking for you to communicate clearly pinpoint exactly what it is that you want trust yourself we also have a yes i have recovery success and reconsider so you guys may have come over from the uh second collective the sextant which is totally fine you guys but uh let's go ahead and get into it i want to know what it is that your person did to try to stagnate and block your progress by distracting you from being able to complete certain goals that you have set for yourself it, these cards are just they are really acting up okay most high my collective wants to know please i want to know who this person is how they affected you three cards for their karma 
and I want to know what your justice is going to be. I really feel like this person took advantage of your kindness. They looked at it as a weakness and they really did things that where they will try to trigger you. They may say things about uh, your hardships that you may have overcome or you could possibly be going through right now. They may always try to bring up um, things that you need to <laughs> be more aware of as far as how it benefits them. Like say you like to, um, say you're just doing daily tasks around the house or, you know, work or however you interact with this particular individual. And, you know, um, you might be careless in regards to things that you own, but this person takes it personally and they try to make it seem as if, oh, well, if you leave that there, it's going to affect me in this type of way. Like, you know, say you leave your, you take your shoes off at the door or something like that. And this person walks in the front door and every time they walk through the door, it always tends to push your shoes towards the back of the wall or something like that. And that's a pet peeve of there. I'm hearing that this person has, um, pet peeves that are uh, just unjustifiable, you know, just that are just petty nonsense. It's like this person always wants to try to find something or some type of way to pick on you, but they, you know, the only <laughs> things that they can come up with are just little minute things that, uh, in all honesty, wouldn't bother anyone else told to stop here so i want to know who this person is how they're affecting you three karma cards for this person Ooh. and your justice so first off at the bottom of the deck we've got the fool here so you could be an aries this person could be an aries or i think this is also taurus energy if not it's like capricorn energy or something like that but um this person always wants to either try to make you look like a fool or you're the type of person that will just embark on a new adventure you know without any type of thought behind it or you you know you organize things behind it but you will embark on an adventure you say you're going to do something like say you want to go to new zealand or something like that or say you want to visit holland or something this person always wants to try to um you know make fun of you for it and then when you actually do it um you've made a fool out of this person or this person tries to make you seem as if you're being foolish or uh, you just you know you're like you know what i don't care what anybody thinks or how they feel this is my life and i'm going to take a chance i am going to um you know I i'm gonna do what i want to do with my life whether people like it or not you know it is definitely your life <laughs> The fool here, the focus is on being content and only seeking to experience life. <laughs> One looks to a better tomorrow through personal achievements, divine wisdom, and purity. So yeah, you are, uh, you're some type of divine being that's having a human experience. I think this might have something to do with me. Princess of Wands. So yes, I am definitely uh, Aries Leo Sag. So you could be Aries Leo Sag. This person could be Aries Leo Sag. Uh, it says here... Uh, also, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, uh, to be specific, a new approach to how you view work or projects is needed. You may uh, find yourself seeking new employment or a complete career change. You will be greatly surprised by news from a friend or loved one. If representing a person, they can be anxious and at times run hot and cold. They may have a fear of intimacy and getting too close. So. These people may have given you some type of social anxiety due to this behavior or this person wants to impose this upon you. Like I said, Cancer, Leo, I think Virgo was the other one is definitely the energy. So this could be your person's energies. This could be their sun and rising. Uh, but for the most part, um, yeah, this, and then this person tries to come in cloaked. This could be a co-worker um, feeling, maybe a friend from the past, a fake friend, friend of me, uh, also here cousin, but this person wants to stop, stagnate, and block your progress. If you have been telling this person or other individuals um, of the 
uh, projects that you have coming here in the future or whatever it is that you're working on, I would suggest that you stop doing that. I know that it's exciting for you and you want to share it with other individuals, but these individuals do not want to hear any good news that you have going on. You may be able to tell by the way that their attitudes and their behavior changes, their body language, everything will switch up with this particular individual and I'm also hearing individuals when you try to share good news with them they always want to try to distract you from um, your accomplishments is what I'm getting for this pal this person wants to distract you from your accomplishments and always bring up some of your I'm not going to say failures but some of the lessons that you are going through or that you are learning or bring up things that are um, <coughs> triggering you in the moment in order to put you in that lower vibrational energy because they know that you can manifest from those higher vibrational energies and they know that if they can bring you down to this low energy then you're not able to manifest your desires your goals your dreams your aspirations the justice card so if that ain't karma coming out in this you know <laughs> reading i don't know what else is but definitely justice maybe you have a situation where you are seeking justice like i said you could have came over from the second collective the sextant but maybe you're seeking justice not only for yourself but for other individuals or this person could have been a boss this person could have been a co-worker like i said cousin something like that but uh let's see we've got libra here it's the main energy for the justice you could be a libra but you have faithful intelligent fairness discernment um you um are going to hold other individuals accountable when it comes to the law your focus may be on settlements vindication and equal treatment you may stand up for the rights of self or others contract and other written agreements may warrant a second look so you may have been tricked out of some money these people could have tried to stagnate and confuse you in regards to a contract that you signed or uh, some type of agreement between the two of you this person um, they violated the laws or that go along with this agreement and um, you know it, it could have left you stagnated powerless uh, you know and and they definitely tried their best in order to distract you from being able to notice that there was an injustice going on here i've had to retake this card a couple of times you guys so yeah whomever this person is they want to stop and block you and then there's the line that's going through this card as well now because it's damaged they want to block your throat chakra and keep you uh her eyes are covered they want to keep you from being able to see what it is that they really did this girl here she's cloaked whomever your person is and she's looking the other way she's got on you know um she has on like a throw like a, a a blanket or something like that but let's see what they're actually you know what i want to pull i don't ever really pull any clarifiers because i don't know i just really kind of get into it but i'm gonna bring out my rebel deck for the clarifiers i'm gonna do it just a couple more times because I know sometimes the shuffling can take up a bit of time, but I really think this rebel deck is going to give us a little bit more detail about your person and intentions and karma. It's going to be great, okay? So, yes, you are giving your power away. You are a badass. I like it. So, yeah, this person may have tried to take your power away from you by, as I stated, um, instead of celebrating your accomplishments, they would always want to bring up any type of trauma that you have going on in regards to your accomplishments. And they would always try to point through and like, hey, well, you need to take care of this. You know, you're better than that. And it's like, wow, like you're in the process of or you pretty much have things under control. And this person just wants to continue to try to reiterate the things that you need to do. But you're already on top of it. And 
it uh, it can cause a little bit of anxiety and make you question yourself. It, am I really, you know, not doing this? Da, 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 da. Just, you know, always check in with yourself and be like, you know what? No, I am doing this. It's this person that just wants to project what it is that they're not supposed to be doing, right? Ask an effing expert. Don't rely on your friends or the internet. Listen to a damn professional. So, yeah, this person would always try to put you down. Um, they didn't think that you were an expert in whatever field that it is you're in or whatever it is that you do in regards to getting your justice or equal treatment or in regards to this injustice in this situation. They didn't know that uh, you were you had access to an expert or that you are an expert or because they looked at you as if you were inexperienced. They didn't know that you were well trained and uh, well educated and whatever it is that they're trying to stop and stagnate and confuse you and distract you from actually seeing uh, according uh, in regards to this this injustice that's going on so yeah um their karma if you think someone is lying they are so yeah these people are going to get exposed maybe they stole money from you maybe they held money back from you maybe they were able to um, successfully cause instability in your life as far as your home as far as your family your job whatever type of stability that you had they lied about something and that truth is going to come out I feel like it's going to come out in court, too, because there's a justice card there. We have the king of coins here, the king of disc. So when I think of the king of coins, um, it says uh, un uninteresting and dull projects may be ignored or reaching them past financial support is withdrawn. So whatever support that they were getting from any type of financial institution, uh, if it was in regards to the legal system, if they were getting any type of support from nonprofit organizations or any type of foundations, it is going to be withdrawn. This person is about to get ready to lose some money and they're going to have to end up giving money to you. Yeah, it says you need some effing yoga in your life. Ancient ish is cool. Yeah. So um, whatever it is that they did in the past, it's about to be worked out and in your favor. Yeah, because when you think of yoga, you know, there's a lot of stretching and balance. And, you know, um, it, it's supposed to bring peace um, and alignment into your life. And that's exactly what's about to get ready to happen. They're about to align all of these facts and the truth is going to come out. Yeah, judgment is another part of their karma. Yeah, that, yeah they're going to have to go to court for whatever situation this is or they're going to be harshly judged you're going to feel rewarded in personal and business matters and you're going to feel a renewed energy and motivation to reach your goals there may be a sense of urgency to assist others in a positive way rude awakenings and this person's going to find it challenging to bury the past yes it's going to come back to bite them in the ass there could be resistance or hesitation with moving forward with a relationship or project yeah whatever it was that they were trying to move forward and hide is going to come out and they're not going to be able to to uh to talk their way out of this yeah because uh the next karma car we have here from the rebel deck it says stop talking shut your mouth and listen they're not going to be able to talk their way out of this that's so crazy that that's the card that came out they're going to be harshly judged and um yeah they're not going to be able to come back from this <laughs> so your justice Fuck, ish is about to get real. You need your people around. So you are going to get the help that you need. Um, I do have the moon card here. For your justice, it says uh, the waxing and wanting of time, patterns and cycles, dreams, visions and nightmares may be prominent at this time. Proceed cautiously as there may be hidden dangers or enemies. Falsehoods, secrets, or lies. Your mind may, may be playing tricks on you. Irrational thoughts, insecurity, inner disturbment, and disillusionment. So yeah, all of that stuff's about to get returned back to the sender. All the places where they try to trick you and cause these illusions and, and this confusion. It is about to get ready to go back to these people.